get you our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. More than five years apart, with big differences in height and reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, presenting the challenger, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of five wins, three losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Regina, Saskatchewan, Canada. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. Alright, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. All right, so here we go. Round one is underway, and when we sat down with him on Thursday, he understood the grappling challenge he was up against. He's not afraid to engage on the ground. Tonight. It's a danger that is not worth risking. It is something that you don't want to play with. This grappler is that good. When this fight gets to the ground, you enter his world, especially when it looks like you hold the advantage on the feet. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Just out of range with that right hook. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. He is all about that left kick to the body. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. These guys throwing early. Effective punch there by Lee. Oh, just out of range with that right hand. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Oh, he heard a bad with jab. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Nice punch, man. Real quick leg kick. Beautiful body to land right under the elbow. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Ooh. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. 
All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Well, he's looking for that left hand just out of range, though, with it. Big punt lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Lee gets hit by that leg kick. How's his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Right hand punch in the clinch. Oh, straight right. Beautiful kick. Oh, another strike lands to the liver here. He buckled him with that exact shot earlier in the fight, and he feels like he can still target that area to great effect. All right, single collar tie now. Ooh, head kick lands was hurt. Effective punch there by Lee. And both guys really throwing with authority. Good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. You got to whip his hip into that kick. You got to check these low leg kicks. Yeah, it looks a little wobbly on his feet. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. He's giving him so many different things right now. Oh, big left. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, big head kick. Oh, that's a good strike there by Lee. Just missing on the high kick there. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. And they separate. Switching stances here. Whoa! Oh, he might be out. What a round. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and then survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. Establish that jab once again. Big hit he lands. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. I mean, he's cutting down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, and he hit tosses into the mat. Now we'll see what he can do from here, DC. Right into side control. He's going to try to control him, then find a submission. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. That was a nice play. Campbell answers right there. Wow. It was a nice strike. He lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, a follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Oh! 
just unable to quite find that range. Oh, head kick blocked, though, by Lee. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Escape DC. Lee's got the full mount. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Oh, back up again. You can't hold a good man down. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there. Oh! Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched it. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. We set it inside the octagon for the official decision. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at 2 minutes, 59 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. So how about this? We have a new UFC heavyweight champion of the world. I think that guy beats Daniel Cormier. I, think I mean, he does. this guy beats anybody. I'm telling you right now, he is the king of the world for a reason. The number one heavyweight in the world. A guy that 